set. Hey, how did you feel about the whole set? It, I, it, I was having a lot of fun, to be honest. Even though I quit the game at the last second, I was having a lot of fun playing versus Skimpy. Um, it's hard to get that. Piece I think I'll just put it back. I think we. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's still in the. Oh, what's wrong? Hold on, I got it. Gotta fix that. Up. Oh, okay, we're back. All right, so CSS versus Mega Man. Yep. I don't think uh, Gimpy is comfortable playing Fox because yesterday um, we were practicing and we played. I was playing Mega Man and he was practicing with the Fox matchup. Yep. That's why he's doing so good versus us in double. Yeah. When we pick double Mega Man. Nice upper from Mega Man. It's gonna be really hard for Gimpy to actually, I mean, be the play how he really wants to play because his arm, and he said he couldn't use the C stick. Yeah, there was a couple times where he was facing Troy, and there was a couple of missed punishes, but a, a loss is a loss, and he's willing to accept that. Mm -hmm. He said when he when he fully recovers, he's definitely gonna destroy him for using. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This t punish there, but that's all, all the players. I think honestly, Gimpy has like one, if not the best neutral in terms of when he plays he's, players. He's really patient, definitely. You have to definitely put, think when you play versus Gimpy, even though he does some repetitive stuff. It's stuff that works, and you have to watch it for it. Like yeah. right there, he sidestepped. That's a habit of his, but. It's hard to recognize that he's going to sidestep, <laughs> and then what he likes to do is follow it up with up B if you're close enough, or whatever's close by. Yeah, he doesn't sidestep all the time, but that time B punished him for let go of shield there. Yeah. Uh, GSS doesn't. GSS only has like one option when she's when someone's behind her to like power shield and that's up tilt. Uh, nothing else covers from the back. She has to jump out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, Great read. Bad, bad roll for B, <laughs> but that's okay. We're still in there. Yeah, I remember when I was playing versus uh, when I was used to practice in brawl. Someone said track rolling into a player is always bad because they can just be patient and bait it out. As long as say <laughs> you condition them not to think you're gonna roll towards them, it's yeah. fine. But otherwise, no. Get to throw. Now B has a lot of work, to, a lot of catching up to do in this match. <laughs> B, or, sorry, yeah, B. Just listen to what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, B is uh, he's trying to use his mobility as he can, but mm -hmm. uh, ZSS also has very good mobility. And, you know, that was a very bad F smash. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he thought he was gonna, just going to land. Gimpy likes to try to catch people off guard with random stuff sometimes, but in that case, it didn't work out for him. With Gimpy, you have to really recognize his spatial pattern habits, which is a hard thing to learn when you're playing fighting games. It's like one of the hardest things to do when you play against top players and learning their spatial patterns. Yep. But as you saw there, Gimpy, what I was going to quote, Gimpy was looking for that bear the whole oh, time. Oh, that could... Oh, no. It mashes out in time. Nope, yep, but, but it runs into, runs into a back air. So what you do is when when, you, when ZSS is short hopping like that into your face, you definitely just want to wait and wait and wait until he throws out a bear or you're sure what option he's going to use. Because if you don't, you're going to just get hit for that bear because he knows when to throw it out when you let go. Yeah. I've heard the Sheik uh, a lot of times getting hit by that bear, so I should. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> and again, you hear a lot of sounds <laughs> whenever Gimby's out to play. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's satisfied. Gimpy gets satisfied when he beats my Sheik. Definitely when uh, when you hear Sheik scream, because you know the the game's finally over and he can relax yeah. just for a bit. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel like Sheik is one of those characters he does not like to fight at all. Yeah, probably. She's so fast, so yep. safe. And a lot in a lot of ways, even though Zero Suit Samus is really strong, Sheik just has many options to deal with ZSS. Yeah, ZSS just has a really good, really, really strong punish game, and if Z when it's ever the Sheik, because it's like nearly impossible to not make a mistake, because there's always a, a way to punish an option. Mm -hmm. ZSS yeah. has a really strong punish game, as you saw, like, um, you know, Gimpy, I mean, B was jumping, and he just neutral at him before he threw a lemon out. Yeah. Do you have, um, 
Zero thinks ZSS is the second best character in the game. Would you say, agree with that statement with the idea of Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think the big question I want to know first is who do you consider to be the top three? There's, top three? Yeah. From what I understand, it would be ZSS, Rosalina, and... Well, actually, I don't know about Rosalina. Well, right now, the metagame has pretty... I feel, as, since it's adapted a lot, it's like Zeke, ZSS, and Luigi. We yeah, don't have a lot of Luigi's here, but... Right, yeah, that sounds more like it with Luigi. I'd say... I'm not sure who really wins between Luigi and ZSS. I so don't feel it's DSS because of range, but, you know... Luigi has some pretty good combos. A lot, in a lot of ways, a lot more safer combos than ZSS. But anyway. like, I don't like when players uh, like get mad when they face Sonic because I mean, like, he's a good character, but it's not like he's overrated like the top three. He's he not. doesn't. He, there's nothing he has that's like, oh, you just do this and it. Wow, why did why does he have it? Kind of idea. There, you know? I mean, you could argue with spin dashing, but even so, Sonic still has plenty of weaknesses. And he is not within top 5. He is within top 10. Yeah, at the moment. I feel like within the year, everything's changed so much. Like Updates will do that. With updates and players, like di people barely even touch Diddy Kong anymore. I mean, he got nerfed, but he he's still a good character. But Diddy Kong just has so many bad matchups now. Like Yeah, and he doesn't have as many kill options anymore. But as we go back to set, Gampy is still taking a commanding two-stock lead versus B, and B is having a hard time kill killstilling his stocks, yep. which is not normal for him. I feel like he's being too anti on trying to get bear string. Ooh, great. That'll, that'll do it. Punishes the dash attack. Very optimal punish, punish there. And it's not it's not too late for B to do this. Yeah, Mega Man, uh, two up errors, 45%. Yeah. <laughs> if he gets any of those setups. But um, I noticed uh, B... With his hand, I don't think he can do lemon to fastball up air like he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> As for why B has an injured hand, I don't know. It's a long story, <laughs> and that's what he says. Probably that. Ooh. Oh nope. Di is out of it. Good Di by B. Uh, now B definitely has to stop doing lemons off when Gimpy's off stage. He needs to put his presence presence on him with like. You know, standing near ledge, but not actually keep jumping and shooting landings. I don't think that's optimal. Because he's getting punished by that down B a lot by doing it. And running into up B. Yeah, um, B. You're gonna I'm sorry. Update the score again. Yeah. Gimpy uh, is good at knowing, since I was.